So this is an app called PC Manager, and this is actually the official PC cleaning app from Microsoft. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to the official website and get more info. Now the real question is, should you use this? The answer is yes, you should use this. I'm gonna give you guys solid reason, okay? So throughout the years, I have been making these videos titled the best PC cleaning app and all that. And I have always recommended this free and open source app called Bleachbit. And this is the app that I actually use to clean my PC. I know there are hundreds, thousands of PC cleaning apps plus PC optimizers out there with hardly any differences in between them. Plus they just want to grab your money. I don't want to talk about some specific uh, Windows optimizer or cleaner. Uh, let's say for example, you know, there is this really popular Windows cleaner plus optimizer called CCleaner. They have the free plan, premium plan. It used to be really good PC cleaner, but somewhere something happened and people hated using CCleaner. Only the people who knew what happened. And again, as I said, there are hardly any differences in between any PC cleaners or optimizers out there. They are all the same. There may be the prices differences, like some may be expensive, some may be cheaper, but even if we have a free PC cleaner or optimizer, that free app will actually work the same maybe even better like for example again bleach bit it's free and open source and it's a really good pc cleaning app now you may find something different in other pc cleaning apps that is the registry cleaner and trust me ask anyone uh, registry cleaning is not okay it's not recommended by microsoft or anyone out there if you really want to do a registry cleaning i recommend you guys to use a uninstaller so every time you uninstall a program using uninstaller it also cleans the registries and leftovers that's how you should be cleaning the registries and by cleaning up the registry you don't gain much okay you don't get anything so no just don't do a registry cleaning again as i said if you want to use a uninstaller i have also made a video on uninstallers so i'll put a link in the description for the uninstaller video that i made and you can go there and watch that video and have fun with that now let's talk about the pc cleaning so now once you understand that almost every pc cleaning software is the same and you don't need a registry cleaner so paying for a pc cleaning software is useless okay use something like bleach bit it's really good but today we are talking about the pc manager app so should you use it? As I said earlier, yes. I think it's time for me to also switch to PC Manager app because PC Manager app also does same thing as the Bleach Bit now. It is as powerful as the Bleach Bit. Plus it offers some extra features. Plus it looks really good, okay? Uh, I mean, there are some things here and there which I don't like. As we go through this video, we'll talk about the things that I don't like. Uh, in the PC Manager app. Now let's do a quick test, okay? So these are the settings that I have selected to clean up the system in Bleachbit. Now I'm gonna click on Preview and it will allocate how much data can be recovered, okay? So it can free up 3.47 gigabytes of storage. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in PC Manager. Uh, boost option won't do much, it will just delete the temporary files. And you can see, I don't have much temporary files left here. To do a better cleaning in PC Manager, you have to go into the deep cleanup. You go in here. Now it's gonna do the same thing as the bleach bit. It's gonna scan and find all the files which can be deleted. So now you can see <laughs> in PC Manager, I can actually free up 3.7 gigabytes of storage. And on bleach bit, I can only, 3.4 gigabytes uh, so which means Microsoft is cleaning a little bit better than uh, the bleach bit and one more good thing about the PC manager app I think they recently added this that is the third-party applications cleanup so uh, as of making this video it looks like I only have three apps that are supported by this Chrome Nvidia VMware and Bleachbit also works similarly. Look at that. 
we have the Chrome option and I'm cleaning almost everything except the passwords. And there is the Microsoft Edge and VLC player, Windows Defender, File Explorer and all that. Now look at the PC Manager app. Microsoft Defender, yeah. Temporary files, Windows Prefetch, Chrome, Nvidia, VMware, Microsoft Edge. It looks like uh, Microsoft actually copied the bleach bit. All the options are very similar. <laughs> okay, very similar. Bleach bit is older than uh, PC Manager app. Okay, this PC Manager app thing is new and Microsoft knows what's best for the system. So yeah, bleach bit is pretty good. So the Microsoft PC Manager app is also pretty good because it does almost the same thing as the bleach bit. So I think it's time for us to upgrade because visually it's appealing plus again as i said it does the same thing as the bleach bit now i'm gonna click on proceed and clean up the system i'm actually impressed that pc manager app is like as good as the bleach bit this is actually good uh, i think uh, this is the time for me to actually replace bleach bit <laughs> and again if you're looking for registry cleaners and all that Okay, those things are just bullshit. You don't need to do that. If you need to do that, again, as I said, use uninstallers. There are a bunch of uninstallers out there. I recommend you guys to use a free and open source uninstaller called Bulk Crap Uninstaller. And there are many good uninstallers out there, but I use the free and open source one. So that's the cleanup part. But now, PC Manager app can do more than just doing a cleanup. Okay, you can see there is the PC boost option, which will try to boost the performance of your system by deleting the temporary files. Plus it will also reduce the RAM and CPU usage if possible. And when you click on boost, uh, you can see actually RAM usage dropped. Now it's at 14%. Yeah, pretty good. Now we have some other options too. Protection here. Uh, it actually uses the Windows Defender. When you click on scan, it's going to open the Windows Defender. We have some other options like Windows Updates. It's also going to open the Windows Update settings. And uh, we also have this option, Default Browser Setting. Using this, you can actually change your default browser with one click. So as you know, in Windows 11, changing a default browser is kind of difficult because you have to go through many setups and settings. But with this, you can do it with one click. I don't know what to say. I think Microsoft did something good with this app. And there are a bunch of other options. Now let's go to the storage here. Again, you can do a deep cleanup and you can also do a file cleanup like the downloaded files, large files, duplicate files. You can actually see how much space is being taken by the downloaded files. And when you click on this option, it will actually show you all the files which are taking the space and you can delete them. Look at that. And it has its own interface. And within this interface, you can also find large files. It's going to do a scanning here and you can see all these large files on your system. There is this Tensor RT cache, which <laughs> I didn't know what it was. But after doing a Google search, I found out that this is actually my video editors uh, cache file. And I can also go into the folders. Uh, and uh, here you can actually see this is the DaVinci Resolve cache file and I don't see any unwanted files in here so yeah it looks like I don't have any unwanted large files that I can delete so yeah just like that you can also scan for duplicate files and delete the duplicate files so yeah PC Manager app is actually good and comes with many features and we also have the apps section here you can see the running apps in the background just like in task manager and you can kill the task from here we also have the startup apps just like in task manager we have the manage apps which actually opens the settings and uh, we have the microsoft store link here and we also have the toolbox option this one is also kind of cool and useful actually. When you enable this, it will open this floating window, which will have this button. <laughs> this is basically a boost button. And it also has some extra tools like screenshot. So you can just click on this button and take the screenshot. Okay, and we also have Notepad. We can also open the Microsoft Edge in here. And we can also do a web search from here. So let's do a Google 
yeah i'm gonna look for google in microsoft plane look at that just like that yeah pretty cool so yeah this is the pc manager app actually i like it it is pretty good as i said i have been using bleach bit for cleaning my system i don't use anything else like the c cleaner or other things so now i have this thing which actually works just like bleach bit plus it looks good now the thing that i don't like about the pc manager app that is the health check if i go in here now in here you can do a little bit of system cleaning too but there are some things like a reset taskbar uh, as it says here, reset taskbar to its default appearance and disable third party extensions. So if you have customized your taskbar in some way, like you made it transparent using third party app, it will disable those things and restore the taskbar to the default state, which is kind of uncool actually. So right now it looks like I'm using this internet speed monitor. Uh, so it wants to get rid of it. Let's, let's see actually. Okay, that wasn't the thing. Okay, never mind. It's worse than that. <laughs> I don't like using widgets, so I have it disabled. So by resetting the taskbar, it's back. <laughs> Widget is back. And also I don't like using Windows search, so it's also back. Now I'm gonna have to go again and uh, disable widgets and also disable or hide search. Cause I use this this is better okay <laughs> so that's something that i don't like i mean i customized it i know i don't want them so i have them disabled there is a reason so this feels kind of silly and stupid you can always like you know uncheck these options okay no big deal and then click on proceed now it won't make any changes to the taskbar let's see if it remembers the settings okay i'm gonna click on done let's go health check uh okay it remembers the settings <laughs> good let's change the browser uh settings here i'm gonna change my default browser to chrome okay <laughs> Now I'm going to go health check and let's do the scanning. Oh, I didn't detect that I'm using <laughs> the uh, a different browser. I, I, I was thinking that maybe it's going to change my default browser to edge automatically. I'm going to change the default search engine to Google. Okay. And let's see how the PC manager reacts now. <laughs> it didn't stop me from changing the default browser. But now it's trying to stop me from changing the search engine. Okay, so these are some of the things that I don't like about the PC Manager app. Come on, we willingly did that. Come on. Uh, yeah, just be careful using the health uh, check. Maybe there is something that you don't want to restore. So yeah, <laughs> otherwise I think the PC Manager app is perfect yeah it's replaceable with the bleach bit and uh, yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it and uh, just one more last tip before i leave you guys in peace do not install any other system optimization apps uh, other than like the pc manager app or bleach bit okay they are pretty good okay these are the apps that you should be using the other apps are also good but they are grabbing your money for no reason because they do the same thing as these apps do so yeah stay away from them that's all i have to say <laughs> yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye